Joining us now, distinguished U.S. Army National Guard Colonel who served in Afghanistan, we welcome Florida Congressman Mike Waltz. Uh, Mr. Waltz, Mike, thank you for coming on the show. I don't know if you have any thoughts or if you heard my opening remarks, but um, I find this stuff to be stunning. And I know I've read that you um, and Lindsey Graham and some others have been emphasizing uh, the Pashtun Valley resistance. Uh, maybe that's an avenue worth pursuing. I hope it is. I'm looking for anything here that has the least bit of optimism, Mike. Um, Vice President Salah is there, yeah, the former well, Vice President, uh, as I understand it. Right. Uh, Ahmed Mahmoud, the son of the great Northern Alliance leader, is there. Others are there. Tell me about your efforts and whether there's any promise that this area of resistance uh, can amount to something. Well, and just to add to your opening, the intelligence is clear, just to set the stage here, that Al Qaeda and the Taliban are tied at the hip and that Al Qaeda fully intends to hit the West again if given the opportunity. Uh, and now they've got an entire country to work with, an entire army's worth of equipment that we left behind. And that cancer is going to spread and it is going to hit us back at home. On top of that, the administration has handed the Taliban a mountain of leverage on a silver platter in the form of these hundreds of Americans that they left behind that I'm still in touch with and these veterans groups are still trying to get out despite the administration high-fiving on their historic airlift that got out the wrong people. So that's, that's what we have to work with. I think they are sliding down this slippery slope of cooperating with the Taliban, of recognizing the Taliban and believing this false notion that there's kind of good and moderate terrorists that'll work with us against the bad terrorists. Uh, and anybody who has fought against them as I have as a Green Beret knows they all intermarry, they all intermingle. Maybe sometimes some factions fight. At the end of the day, they want to wage jihad on the West. So what do we do about it? Well, first we stop the administration from recognizing uh, the Taliban's legitimate government for all the reasons that you listed. It's illegal. Uh, and but I think they are going to try to backdoor ransom payments in the form of humanitarian oh. aid. Oh. We're going to seek to stop that, too. And, you know, do we stand with those in the Panjshir Valley and other pockets of resistance with the legitimate government uh, under Vice President Saleh and Massoud that should be recognized? They were overthrown in a military coup. Uh, and do we take a page? We all remember Charlie Wilson's war. Do we take a page out of that playbook and continue to stand with those who stand with freedom and stand against terrorist extremism? Charlie uh, because Wilson. here's the thing, Larry, this same team, this same team that's around Biden was around Obama. They yanked us out of Iraq too soon. It led to the rise of the ISIS caliphate. We had to go back in after Obama's mistake, but at least we had the Kurds to work with there. We have to have somebody on the ground to work with. We now have no bases in the region. Our allies are being hunted down and they have an army's worth of American equipment to fight uh, to fight us when future American soldiers have to go back to deal with this. It's outrageous and it's despicable. Uh, first of all, Mike Walls, thank you for your service and your bravery. Uh, secondly, let's go. I want to go back to this issue, um, the, the so-called moderate Taliban scenario. And you are right. The crowd, yeah. uh, Blinken and Sullivan, these were Obama people. These are also Hillary Clinton campaign people, as you undoubtedly know. That's um, right. There are a bunch of things. If they want to help the Taliban, Congressman, they're going to have to publicly revoke. I mean, you've got this special designated global terrorist. This came from Kelly Craft, whom I'm sure you know. She's formerly our U.N. ambassador, uh, Ms. Kelly Craft talked about it a couple nights ago right. on this show. You've got this special designated global terror, which came initially out of the State Department, then became an executive order, which is still standing. And then, sir, you've got this other one, a congressional law, which mandates that the Taliban uh, is considered a terrorist organization for immigration purposes. So it's a terrorist organization. You've got two big items here that would have to be revoked in full public view. And I have a sense, now you tell me, this is what we need to, 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 to know, I have a sense you're going to have bipartisan support not to revoke these things. What do you think? Well, let me, let me tell you what, how I think they're going to, to play this. 
uh, is they're, they're going to back channel humanitarian aid through nonprofits. Uh, we all know that'll end up right in the hands of the Taliban. They're going to allow them access to their foreign currency reserves to the tune of billions uh, that are around the world. That's they can't a ransom, do that. Larry. They can't Let's do call that. that what it is. No, Mike, they can't well, do that. I, I think there's... Unless they repeal. I think repeal, they're certainly going to try, and know. they're going to flout the law. All right, listen, it's not that I, I want to I think they're argue. going to flout the law and work. It, we, the <laughs> Treasury would have to I mean, stop. Look at what they've done already. The FTO. The tre look, you may be right yeah. at the end of the day. I'm not questioning uh, yeah. your, uh, your but Larry, um, this is the Larry, this is the same crew on top of Iraq and ISIS. But they can't give it to the them. Bergdahl trade was law. a good idea. <laughs> the Berg the Bergdahl trade was illegal yeah. uh, and letting those terrorists out of Guantanamo that are now in charge. Yeah. Uh, by the way, they thought the Iran deal was a good, uh, good deal. Uh, flying pallets of cash, also illegal in, in exchange for those hostages. And that also thought you know, Benghazi was not that big of a deal. So they have a long history of appeasing terrorists and believing that if we just give enough concessions, if we're just friendly enough, if we just craft enough uh, a, a, of a deal that they'll be nice back. Uh, and what that's going to do is set the stage for Al Qaeda and ISIS 3.0 that will be far more dangerous than what we had to deal with in 2001. I'm, mind you, I'm not criticizing your vision or your forecast. I'm just, I hope I'm wrong. I pray I'm wrong. I, I just But I know this is the same team they're gonna, since 2009 that has been making bad decision after bad decision. To, and it's making America far less safe. And it's going to cost future American soldiers blood and treasure. I'm just saying to unfreeze these bank accounts, whether it's the Treasury, the IMF, the World Bank, or for that matter, the Western banking system, which operates on the Federal Reserve Treasury wire. They're going to have to do that in full public view. Now, you may be right. I fear you're going to be right. Uh, but I just want to in, uh, put that in there. Let me ask you one more thing, sir. We had Bing West on the show a couple nights ago, a brilliant, brilliant man, great service to the country. Now, he, as you may know, has been talking about an intel finding, getting an intel finding from Congress, which would allow the CIA and presumably other intel agencies to support these, what will I call them, extra governmental operations. How's that for a diplomatic, polite phrase? Outside the normal operations of government. It would be a finding. It would be clandestine, to be sure. Very secret, as it should be. But can that, you know, A, would you push for that sort of thing? And B, might that help, uh, you know, the Pineapple Express, for example, which is being done by... Right you know, brave veterans and, and other people in the private sector, and also uh, help to pinpoint what the terrorists are doing, whether they're Taliban or Al-Qaeda or ISIS or whomever. Would a finding be useful? It, it would be. Uh, and, uh, you know, these veterans groups that have stepped into this void, uh, you know, where the administration wasn't leading and wasn't planning effectively, they mobilized organically. My office has worked very closely, as has other congressional offices have had to step in and help. But I think at the end of the day, this could be a public-private partnership. And we all know the private sector will be fast, will be nimble, mm. and will get things done. And since we pulled out all troops, all diplomats, and almost all of our eyes and ears off the ground, we are going to need these non-traditional means. Uh, and you have plenty of veterans, uh, both of the intelligence community and the special operations community, that have shown they're willing to step up because they understand the stakes, both for our allies and for the homeland, uh, and again, for future American soldiers that are gonna have to go back to deal with it. It takes a network to defeat a terrorist network, and we have to maintain that network on the ground, including the resistance in the Panjshir, and including these non-traditional networks from the private sector. All right, we'll leave it there. Thank you, Congressman Mike Walls. Uh, I know you're right, I'm just trying to say there are embarrassing obstacles in full public view. And the Bidens may, you know, jump over them like they usually do. But they're out there. But on I wouldn't the other put hand, it past them. Yeah. I wouldn't put it past them. All I, right. I hope I'm wrong. Well, no. Uh, I, I, look, I just want to restore American honor and credibility here. You know? I mean, that's to me. I'm an optimist. Anyway, thank you for your service. Thank you for coming on the show. We okay. hope you'll return. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.